Okay, well, good day to uh, the people of St. Andrews and anyone that is uh, connected with this video. Uh, I'm with Ellen Van Dyke, who has been uh, a great part of our Thursday night uh, end of day service over the last while and has a long connection with our honorary assistant priest, uh, Jerry Mueller. And we're at this juncture in the church year where we move from this celebration of all saints and then into the reign of Christ, which is this Sunday, November 20th, and that's the end of the church year. So as the church year comes to a close, it, it, it uh, climaxes with the um, celebration of Christ as sovereign, as, as our Lord and ruler, um, and it's preceded right before that by the celebration of all saints. So it's sort of our hope of, of all of us being gathered together in the, the reign of God. Uh, with Christ at the head. And then the beginning of Advent is the beginning of a new year. So we go from sort of the, the fruition of everything to all of a sudden then anticipating and hoping for the reign of Christ and, and a year-long journey towards that. So to, to mark this juncture and our, our approaching of the end of the church year, we have this short um, video service with the reflection by Ellen that brings together the celebration of the saints and of the reign of Christ. And so I hope that it's a meaningful and engaging part of your um, spiritual uh, practice as we come to the ending of this church year. Everything will be on the screen for you. And if you like to um, say the words at home, I recommend the uh, yellow parts, which are the congregational parts. That should be showing up on the screen for everyone. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. A light no darkness can exchange, extinguish. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Your faithful servants bless you. They make known the glory of your kingdom. Blessed are you, sovereign God, ruler and judge of all. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of this age that is passing away, may the light of your presence, which the saints enjoy, surround our steps as we journey on. May we reflect your glory this day, and so be made ready to see your face in the heavenly city where night shall be no more. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. And we pray in the, this uh, portion of Psalm 33. Rejoice in the Lord, you righteous. It is good for the just to sing praises. Praise the Lord with the harp. Play to God upon the psaltery and lyre. Sing for God a new song. Sound a fanfare with all your skill upon the trumpet. For the word of the Lord is right. And all the works of God are sure. For God loves righteousness and justice. The loving kindness of the Lord fills the whole earth. And let's pray. Blessed are you, creator of the universe. In your loving kindness, you watch over your chosen people. Make us witnesses to your truth and instruments of your peace, that all may know you as the God of justice and praise your holy name. We pray through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. I share a reading from the letter of Paul to the Ephesians. I bow my knees before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth takes its name. I pray that, according to the riches of his glory, he may grant that you may be strengthened in your inner being with power through his spirit, and that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, as you are being rooted and grounded in love. I pray that you may have the power to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, so that you may be filled with the fullness of God. Now to him who by the power at work within us is able to accomplish abundantly far more than all we can ask or imagine, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. 
Thanks be to God. And now, and I didn't mention this, but coming to us from Costa Rica through <laughs> the, the wonders of technology, a reflection from Ellen Van Dyke. Thank you, Father. Hear us, Lord, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable to you, O Lord, my rock and my found redeemer. Amen. Amen. Dear friends in Christ, how much do we notice as we go through a day? To make a notice is not a personal story, and I did not write it, however, I wish I had. There was a very special teacher in high school many years ago whose husband died suddenly of a heart attack. About a week after his death, she shared some of her insights with her classroom for stu of students. As the late afternoon sunlight came streaming in through the classroom windows and the class was nearly over, she moved a few things aside on the edge of her desk and sat down there. With a gentle look of reflection on her face, she paused and said, class is over. I would like to share with all of you a thought that is unrelated to class, but which I feel is very important. Each of us is put here on earth to learn, share, love, appreciate, and give of ourselves. None of us knows when this fantastic experience will end. It can be taken away at any moment. Perhaps this is God's way of telling us that we must make the most out of every single day. Her eyes beginning to water, she went on. So I would like you to make me a promise. From now on, on your way to school or on your way home, find something beautiful to notice. It doesn't have to be something you see. It could be a scent, perhaps of freshly baked bread wafting from someone's house. Or it could be the sound of a breeze slightly rustling the leaves in the trees. On the way, the morning or on the way, the morning light shines, catches one leaf as it falls gently to the ground. Please look for these things and cherish them. For although it may sound trite to some, these are the things, these things are the stuff of life, the little things we put we put here on earth to enjoy the things we often take for granted. The class was completely quiet. The students picked up their books and filed out of the room silently. That afternoon, they noticed more things on their way home from school than that the whole semester. Take notice of something special you see on your lunch hour today or tomorrow or today. Bundle up and go for a walk or walk build a snowman, step off, stop off on your way home and get a double dip ice cream cone or a hot chocolate these days. For as we get older, it is not the things we did that we often regret, but the things we didn't do. Every once in a while, think of that teacher and remember that, that an impression she made on all and try to appreciate all the all of the things that sometimes we do, we all overlook. Once a child on Sunday morning attending on the floor, sitting on the floor, listening to a children's sermon, when the priest asked, what is a saint? One little charmer threw up his arm in the air. And when he was acknowledged, he said loud and clear, a saint is something the light shines through. As he said this, he looked up at the church's stained glass windows. A child shall lead them. Last week, we celebrated All Saints Day and this Sunday, the reign of Christ. As with the teacher who is in, in her pain and devastation, found therein a teachable moment, this child saw beauty in life. May we all be something the light shines through. On a personal note, last Sunday, I went to a local hospital emergency. More people there on a Sunday morning than church. My doctor, a lovely person, placed clamps on my wrists and ankles. I almost ran outside to check out I wasn't at the police station. She then placed suction cups in a variety of places, front and back. These work fine if the patient doesn't laugh or breathe. They kept popping off, I laughed harder. Eventually she got the information she needed and moved me to a treatment. When the treatment was completed, 
I had to wait for her return. She asked me if I felt better. She then allowed the nurse to remove my IV. And as she said goodbye, she rubbed my head. I had been smiling, I have been smiling about this gesture since then, my Sunday morning sleep. Someone the light shines through. I will close repeating two verses that we read earlier, Ephesians 3, 17b through 19. Lord, help us look for the things to recognize and freely accept the love and grace bestowed on us unconditionally, without favor, without malice, and without forethought or expectation. May God bless you every day of your life. Have a great day. Let us pray. Lord, help us to look for the things that are the stuff of life, the little things we are put here on earth to enjoy, the things we often take for granted, and may we bestow this on all others. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Ellen, for that message about the reality of the fragility of life, but also the reality of uh, beauty um, that gets us through and, and ultimately our hope. So let us continue in prayer. Holy God, our refuge and strength, you have redeemed your scattered children, gathering from all the corners of the earth through your firstborn, the Christ, in whom all things are held together. Make of us a just and righteous people, worthy by grace to inherit with him the kingdom of light and peace, where he reigns with you in the Holy Spirit. Amen. And uniting with the whole company of heaven and gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. To our God belong victory, glory, and power. For right and just are all his judgments. Praise our God, all you who serve him. You who fear him, great and small. Let us rejoice and triumph and give God praise. The time has come for the wedding feast of the Lamb. O God, who brought your people out of slavery with a mighty hand, strengthen us to take our stand with you beside the oppressed of the world, that in the victory of Christ every fetter of body, mind, and spirit may be broken, and the whole human family restored to your image. May sing your praise in joy, freedom, and peace through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Alleluia. May God, the Father who raised Christ Jesus from the dead, continually show us his loving kindness. Amen. May God, the Son, victor over sin and death, grant us a share in the joy of his resurrection. Amen. And may God, the Spirit, giver of light and peace, renew our hearts in his love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, thank you to Ellen for the reflection and uh, best to all as we enter into this uh, celebratory time of the reign of Christ, looking back upon uh, recently All Saints Day and also looking ahead to the beginning of a new church year. So peace to everyone. Thank you. Good night.